Now when all this was finished, all Israel that were present went out to the cities of Judah, and break the images in pieces, and cut down the groves, and threw down the high places, and the altars out of all Judah and Benjamin, and Ephraim also, and Manasseh, until they had utterly destroyed them all. And all the children of Israel returned, every man to his possession, into their own cities. And Hezekiah appointed the courses of the priests and the Levites after their courses, every man according to his service, the priests and Levites for burnt offerings and for peace offerings, to minister and to give thanks and to praise in the gates of the tents of the Lord. I am glad to know that the last message, Evil Altars, has motivated Israelites everywhere to be alert. In addition, to no longer allow the kingdom of darkness deceive them while shopping in the heathen's economic system. Evil covenants are forged when you are not aware of the weapons your enemies use towards you. The Most High warn us in the scriptures to be alert. Watch ye, stand fast in the faith, quit you like men, be strong. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. The enemies seek to destroy the fragile individual with a feeble mind. The kingdom of darkness is not interested in helping anyone. Satan's purpose is to steal, kill, and destroy. That is why it is important to be alert and guard your minds. Do not believe the lie of the heathens owning everything. Remember, the Most High said, the earth is his and everything in it. For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. There are many black owned businesses out there. The enemy is strategic in hiding those businesses. The heathens steal our ideas, buy out successful black businesses to build their communities. Although the heathen's economic system outnumber the black economy, we have the spending power. That is why corporations everywhere will market to our demographic the most. Without us, no business will prosper. The original people need to know their value. The only way to know the power you have is to disconnect from the satanic system. If you can view the world with your spiritual eyes, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Israelites, it is through knowledge will the just be delivered. An hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. The scriptures also said, my people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge. If you do not know that you are forging evil covenants when you support the heathen's corporations, are you not perishing? Many Israelites say, look to the Messiah, he will save you. Are you going to continue to shop at a place that is an enemy to you and justify your sin by saying Yahshua will save you? That Christian mentality is poisoning the minds of our people everywhere. Do not use the scriptures to justify your sins. The Most High said the Israelites are the only family he knows. Therefore, he will punish his people for all of their sins. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Having the knowledge that most businesses have a dedicated altar to an idol is not meant to bring fear in the Israelite community, but to alert you of the many ways Satan is working against you. By having the knowledge of evil covenants forged when you shop at these places is to encourage you to make better decisions. You should never allow the enemy to make you feel you have no choice but to support these businesses. If you truly know your father, the Elohim of Israel, and serve him in the spirit and in the truth, what can man do to you? It is because you have a lack of knowledge. That is what's destroying you. Channels like this are not popular in our communities because the kingdom of darkness has deceived many. YouTube and other satanic corporations are aware of the power the knowledge gained from these messages have on the people. That is why they go to great lengths to censor channels such as this. Our people believe them when they refer to us as conspiracy theorists. Putting such label on channels like this will discourage many not to watch. Israelites, do not mistake connecting spiritually with the Elohim of Israel in his spirit, the Holy Spirit, with religion. Religion is a system built to further destroy the people. 
Some of our people run the moment anything spiritual is mentioned. There is a difference in being spiritual and religious. Run from religion. When you are in tune spiritually, you will be able to see the agenda behind every outrage and satanic deceptions. Israelites, if the kingdom of darkness and the workers of iniquity could wipe us out, the heathens would have. The Most High would not allow the kingdom of darkness to genocide his people that is made in his image. Just because most businesses have altars dedicated to their idols, this do not conclude defeat. Remember, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Israelites, it is important to pay attention to your surroundings in addition to understand how your enemy's diabolical system operates. The heathen system is made to bring destruction to all. Any Israelite wanting to be a part of their system is forging a covenant with the kingdom of darkness. Remember, white supremacy is Satan's kingdom in the flesh. For multiple generations, our people have been fighting for equal rights. We have yet to find success. You cannot fight to overthrow the very system that you protest to be a part of. That is Satan fighting Satan and you will lose every time. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Israelites, you cannot ask the heathens to help you overthrow their kingdom. That is like me asking YouTube to uncensor my channel so I can continue to expose the kingdom blessing them. The Most High said to us that we are to live among the heathens. The Most High did not say to become one with the heathen kingdom. Israelites, most of you do not realize that we have been homeless since 70 AD. The sin of wanting to be a part of the heathen system has placed us in the predicament we are in today. We are not home. Stop trying to make the land of your captivity home. We should strive to live among the heathens, but do not join their system. But we're mingled among the heathen and learned of their works, and they served to their idols, which were a snare unto them. Our people will protest against injustice and public humiliation. Later on, they shop at the same businesses that have altars erected to idols. The time spent seeking equality is erased once you reestablish the covenants with the heathen's idol. By supporting their corporations and other establishment, we repeat the same cycle of fighting for equality in every generation. It is time to try something else. Israelites, our people are not the only people perishing from a lack of knowledge. The heathens are also perishing from a lack of knowledge. The Most High allowed the flesh desires of the wicked deceive them. This is the reason the heathens cannot perceive how they are being manipulated by the kingdom of darkness. The Most High allows Satan to blind the eyes of the wicked. Their greed for wealth and power has deceived them. This is why the heathens cannot relate to us. The kingdom of darkness is controlling their mind. Whoever controls the mind controls the body. Many heathens suffer from mental illness. The workers of iniquity use mental health as an excuse for the crimes they commit. The scriptures inform us that mental illness is demon possession. The heathen's mind is in the hands of the kingdom of darkness. Satan is supporting their so-called success. Satan is the god of this world. In addition, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Society wants to persuade the masses that black people are weak-minded and easily deceived. There is nothing worse than being prideful and being deceived by the very kingdom that you believe is supporting you. Israelites, the heathens serve and support their idols just as we love and worship the Elohim of Israel. Any idol that will fulfill their lustful flesh desires, they will serve. The idols the heathen serve is their God. In the heathen's perspective, their idols have blessed them with wealth, power, and the ability to run this world. Because their idols have done this for them, they are dedicated to serving the idols to maintain their positions. The heathens have no problem displaying the altars in their corporations and pass it off as religion. Can you comprehend why religion is toxic? The heathens' sole purpose of erecting altars in their business is to continue to maintain wealth and power to dominate you. When the idols bless the heathens with money, power, and fame, the heathens are dedicated to serving the idols. The kingdom of darkness get access to the physical realm in return. The heathens believe they are blessed and highly favored. 
The truth is they are deceived and headed for the lake of fire. The scripture says Satan has blinded the eyes of the heathens and unbelievers as well as Israelites. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. An altar is a place where humans interact with spirits in the physical realm. The workers of iniquity will give their sacrifice to their idols, perform the ritual. The principality or idol will give instructions. The workers of iniquity will carry out their idols' plans. The businesses that have their altars in their establishments and making sacrifices to their idols, that place is cursed in the Most High's perspective. By you entering that business, buying anything from that establishment will unleash a curse on you. If you bring the cursed item into your house, the cursed item will plague your household. Most of us have heard of stories of families doing well and thriving. All of a sudden, after purchasing a painting, a statue from a satanic business, on the other hand, a worker of iniquity gives them a gift. All of a sudden, the entire household is in term oil. Israelites, that is how you identify cursed items in your household. If you buy a cursed item and it changed the mood in your household or trials of all sorts is plaguing your life, that is a good way to know that you have a cursed item in your possessions. In addition, you can pray and ask the Most High to show you the cursed things, bringing destruction into your life. Israelites, you can repent of known and unknown sins all day long. The Most High have laws that govern the physical and the spirit realm. When you are defiled, a cleansing is mandatory. You cannot repent, quote the scripture, and declare that you are healed. Prayer and fasting is required. In addition, the cursed item must be burned. The Most High heal and redeem our ancestors after they burned the cursed things. Our ancestors had to give a burnt offering to atone for their sins. Today, your sacrifice is fasting. Praying is your altar. That is where you make your petition known. Remember, you have to burn the cursed things. The Most High always instruct our ancestors to burn down their abominable altars. Whenever the Israelites battle their enemies, the Most High command them to burn down the pagan altars and take down their shrines. And ye shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you, and destroy all their pictures, and destroy all their molten images, and quite pluck down all their high places. Ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess served their gods, upon the high mountains, and upon the hills, and under every green tree. And ye shall overthrow their altars, and break their pillars, and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods, and destroy the names of them out of that place. Why was it important for our ancestors to take down their altars? The Most High said there should be no other gods before him. An altar erected to an idol is idolatry. The Most High hates the sin of idolatry. The Most High do not want his people to take on the customs of the heathens. That is why Yah command his people to destroy their evil altars. Today, when Israelites find altars in the heathens' establishment, they do not know what it is or they ignore it. Israelites, the reason the heathens are successful in their business Business, they worship and serve their idols. The heathens make sure to follow the instructions of their idols carefully. Most Israelites do not know the laws and statutes of the Most High. The Most High instruct his people not to intermingle with such places. However, Israelites will continue to go to these places and support them. When you go to an establishment and you find an altar, walking away is not enough. You have to speak against that altar and send the fire of the Most High against that altar to destroy the idol hiding behind it. We have become comfortable in the land of our captivity. We think if we walk away and pray a five-minute prayer, all is well. The heathens will continue to live a lavish life from your blessings. Israelites, when you are aware of an evil altar, speak against that altar, just as the Most High sent his prophet to prophesy against the altar Jeroboam made. And behold, there came a man of God out of Judah by the word of the Lord unto Bethel. And Jeroboam stood by the altar to burn incense. And he cried against the altar in the word of the Lord, and said, O altar, altar, thus saith the Lord, Behold, a child shall be born unto the house of David, Josiah by name, 
and upon thee shall he offer the priests of the high places that burn incense upon thee, and men's bones shall be burnt upon thee. And he gave a sign the same day, saying, This is the sign which the Lord hath spoken. Behold, the altar shall be rent, and the ashes that are upon it shall be poured out. And it came to pass, when King Jeroboam heard the saying of the man of God, which had cried against the altar in Bethel, that he put forth his hand from the altar, saying, Lay hold on him. And his hand, which he put forth against him, dried up, so that he could not pull it in again to him. The altar also was rent, and the ashes poured out from the altar, according to the sign which the man of God had given by the word of the Lord. The workers of iniquity will consult their idols and build an altar to their God before they can change a person's destiny or send tormenting spirits to their victims. To combat your enemies, you have to engage in spiritual warfare prayers. Prophesy against the altar and command its demise. Just as the Most High prophesied against the altar Jeroboam erected to idols. When you are speaking to the altars, you are speaking to the idol or demon hiding behind it. That is what you are attacking. To get to the root, you have to destroy the source. The evil altars are the gateway for the kingdom of darkness to manifest their will and oppress the people. Once you get to the root and send the fire of the Most High to those altars, you will find success. The heathen's business are profiting in black communities, yet a black person trying to open a business in a black neighborhood fails. The altars in the heathen's business is an obstacle to you. Speak against the altar the heathens have in their establishment. If you do not, you will not find success because their idols is preventing you from opening a successful business in your own neighborhood. If you do not believe me, look in your neighborhood. What businesses is profiting from your community while you are not? You must send the fire of the Most High to those altars to destroy the curse. Most Israelites believe that if they boycott a business, it will fail. If boycotting work, your wealth would not be in the hands of the heathens. When you boycott, you are fighting in the flesh. Fighting in the flesh will only secure your defeat. Your enemies is fighting you in the spirit and you're fighting in the flesh. The spirit realm govern what takes place in the physical realm. Whatever is going to happen to you, it will first take place in the spirit realm before manifestation in the physical. Your dreams is revealing what is happening to you. When I see so-called awakened Israelites attack other Israelites in the awakening, I know that individual know nothing about the spirit realm. They do not realize they are doing the work of the enemy. Why not fight the spirit, the root cause to the issue? Attacking the person will not resolve anything. An awakened Israelite who is spiritually mature should know better. Israelites, you have to know the weapons the kingdom of darkness is using to keep you oppressed until this day. Our enemy Satan prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Do not become his victim. Evil altars are everywhere in this physical realm. That is how Satan is ruling with the wicked in this generation. The heathens pledge their alliance with the kingdom of darkness in exchange for wealth and power. Israelites, your body is the temple that houses spirit. Spirit of the Most High. Utilize the Holy Spirit to triumph and over your enemies. The Most High will give you favor if you're serving Him in the Spirit and in the truth. When the kingdom of darkness attack, you must know how to defend yourself. When your knowledge increase, you have to know what to do to overcome the attacks. The Most High want His people to follow the example He set for us. We have to know how to fight back properly. The heathens will continue to serve their idols and they will do anything to maintain their dominance. Israelites, do not follow the heathens. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. The heathen system is designed to keep you in sin. Israelites, it is time you recognize the strategies of the kingdom of darkness and do not allow the enemy to steal from you any longer. Do not sit back and be silent. Speak against the evil altars. The God of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my high tower, and my refuge, my savior. Thou savest me from violence. I will call on the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies, 